come to the bold analysis ladies and gentlemen for the last two weeks there has been a heated debate on uh, the Mombasa port when Mohamed Jichopevu the Monyali MP alluded to the fact that the Mombasa port was being auctioned to some foreigners in a deal that was involving President Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga and Mombasa governor Ali Hassan Joho. And to that it was treated to be just a pronouncement trying to prepare the ground to use the Mombasa port as a um, political tool to doing to doing support in favor of Deputy President William Samoe Ruto. And so the issue of the Mombasa port keeps on coming and I remember very well when Amazon Kingi was picked uh, to join Kenya Kwanza when he joined Kenya Kwanza he said that he would champion for the issue of the port and the land injustices in the coastal region and I was um, and in my analysis I mentioned that despite the fact that he is one of the most senior leaders in Kenya Kwanza that is the face of the coast he's been missing in those press briefings in Mombasa especially the one that was being done by Mohamed Jichopevu and Asan Omar. And Ali uh, and, and, and Jichopevu also, at two, I think two days ago, reported that there are some gunmen that attacked, uh, that invaded his office to try to snatch or maybe try to, 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 to steal those documents from him because he was supposedly carrying out, uh, carrying some documents. Today, the dossier, has been given to one Musalia Mdavadi. And Musalia Mdavadi uh, issued a 30-minute press briefing to explain what, according to him, is a dubious deal that President Uhuru Kenyatta signed to auction the Mombasa port, Naivasha, and Kisumu to a Dubai farm. In, in what you see, it's like a tender. So there is this uh, aspect of him saying that the deal was signed in March, in a date in March this year, and the day that deal was signed, it was signed in Mombasa, in what was treated as Raila Odinga's birthday. I have a question mark. Raila Odinga celebrates his birth birthday on 7th January. And again, if you've been following this channel, I think we analyzed Raila Odinga's party that President Uru Kenyatta attended that was captured in camera was done in Nairobi in the current residence where President was calling him Karibu Sana the fifth if you remember that video so on the timeline of how it was signed there's still queries but I want us to listen to um, just a bite from Musalem Devadi then from there we will see this open war between Mudavadi to President Uhuru Kenyatta, would it be to pursue the merit, or rather to pursue what, according to him, is auction of the Kenyan ports, or it is just a political tool to weak the coast to support Deputy President? But I have a bite from Salia. Uh. So that is Musalia Mdavadi, and what is saying is in details is there is a deal that was signed and of course there is just a lot so one thing eh, what Mdavadi is saying is not new and I want to fashion it it's it fashioned as what Raila used to do when he was releasing the scandals of the NYS the euro bond and so on and so forth when Raila was releasing those he used to have that intel and by that time he was simply out of government um, what someone can ask is, uh, who do you think, if indeed there is such a deal, who do you think leaked those documents? Because according to Salem Devadi, I think those are exclusive documents that they have, and they have, uh, I've seen them. They have posted in their, in Salem Devadi has posted in his social media team, in his social media page, and who do you think furnished Kenya Kwanza team with that? Because the documents Musalem Mdavadi is releasing is not the only one having them. Actually, Mohaji Jopevu had been doing it. Could it be a business gone so? 
that there was a business and it didn't work. Now, in this video, I don't want us to pursue the merit of that, uh, on, on rather what that deal is, because of course we are going to peruse the documents and we shall try to find out exactly what is at play there. But I have some questions just from what we can see around the port issue. Kindly subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and like our video so that when we publish these videos you will always be receiving notification. Why is it that Deputy President William Samoy Ruto is keeping off this Dubai conversation? Because that press briefing was done by Musalia, then um, former government spokesman, the former Machakos uh, governor, Alfred Mutua, and Duale. But Deputy President intentionally was out of it. And to add salt on that, even the leaders from the coast were not attending that press briefing. Hassan Omar, maybe would have just been called in, Mohamed Jopevu, Mombasa politicians, or Amazon Kingi, or even if the rest can miss, but Amazon Kingi. Why do you think that that issue of the port, despite, despite of being it being seen as a very weighty matter, Ruto is keeping off, coastal leaders are keeping off. Now, the conversation about Dubai makes me remember um, the analysis that we did here about Ruto's Dubai links when the issue of the 25 billion uh, money was coming into play and it was reported in this country. So uh, this is something that can, that can be going there and could it be that the, du the Dubai or maybe the farms in Dubai or the Dubai government, when Ruto would directly affect with it, it will be seen as government trying to jeopardize. Is this something that Deputy President knows that Musalem Mudavadi might not be knowing? And so Mudavadi is just trying to open. And this begs the question. I don't want to doubt what Mudavadi is saying. But why is it that it is not receiving the media attention? <laughs> it is not receiving, it is not being magnified. I have not captured Kidogo Kidogo, some few corridors in the newspaper. The mainstream, the press briefing by Musalem Davadi was not aired in any television. In fact, they have just put it in their social media. And it is just there. Why do you think that the media is giving it a blind eye? And the timing has been that it could be a possibility that uh, it's being used as a political tool to try to wink the cost. But there is something that Mudavari pointed out there. That the deal was signed and counties were isolated. According to him, uh, the, the, ports, the deal is affecting three counties, Mombasa, Nakuru, and Kisumu. Uh, Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho is part of it, according to what Mudavad is saying. Um, Lee Kinyanjui, Nakuru, where the dry port of Naivasha sits, is on the side of President Uhuru Kenyatta, and Kisumu, Anyang Nyongo, is with the President Uhuru Kenyatta. What is the evidence that the counties are not party to whatever is being discussed there? That's a question, because if you look at all those that have been mentioned, all those that is taken there, I think it's there. It, it, there is also an element of people working together. But one thing I think for Musalem Davadi to nail his point, it might be seen as just an attack on President Uhuru Kenyatta. But the deal must be explained in terms of the cost. How much has been lost? That's what the Kenyans really want to know. How much has been lost? When it was about the euro bond, it was about the cost. When it was Aurora and Kimware, it was about the cost. However, I see a situation where this is just coming because they have realized that there is a corruption tag on Deputy President William Ruto. When you see at live stream of uh, when Ruto is somewhere and there is a live stream, the comments are full with muizi, 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 muizi. So that tells you that, of course, there is a deliberate attempt or there is a deliberate strategy to try to brand William Ruto or make sure that all the corruption tags are on the head of Deputy President William Ruto. And 
if indeed there is such a deal then i think msala mudavadi is really getting worried because if william if president huru kenyatta do such a deal a deal would you think if ruto is not part of it and raila is part of it would you think the uganda have a power to deputy president and <laughs> that's my bold analysis ladies and gentlemen